It's crazy to think that the people who tell us to be observant and aware of our surroundings are the ones who can't see something big that's hidden in plain sight. Was everyone really only worried about themselves? How on earth did we connect the dots? I'm not sure. All I know is that we weren't ready for what we stumbled across. I'm so tired. We should not have stayed up as late as we did. I know. We have to get better at that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I tell you? Last mm. Thursday, I think, I saw that boy in the hallway again. Mm. Yeah. The only thing was he was walking with Sarah, I'm pretty sure. Sarah? Yeah. No. Yeah. And I'm kind of annoyed because I want to like see his social media or something to see if they're just like friends or if he like posts about her, but I don't, literally don't know his name. I got you. <laughs> I will find anyone. Oh my gosh. What? There's another death. Really? What happened? Well, some guy, some old guy, crashed i guess it crashed his car into a tree and when the police arrived he was dead next to the car oh wow that's, yeah that's like really bizarre seems like there's been like a lot of weird accidents lately no i agree do you think he crashed the car on purpose suicide i don't think so are there any like bystanders or anything i'm looking it says, the only bystander was a local 11-year-old girl who was too traumatized to speak. Hey, you know what? I wonder if um, the metal brother knows her. Maybe, but I don't think you should ask him. That's really traumatizing for her, and that could traumatize him too. Yeah. I heard my mom on the phone with her friend, and... She was saying that there was like five other accidents like this. So, what is this like the sixth the one? Sixth. Yeah, that's insane. I know. I wonder if they're like connected. Maybe. Good waffles. Mhm. Mm I thought you were hanging out with Faye today. Yeah, she said that she saw some guy get in a crash and he died. <gasps> That's terrible. And then she said that she saw some creepy looking lady get out of her car and now she won't eat, talk, or drink for I don't know how long. That's even worse. <laughs> it's whatever. Wait, that's weird. Didn't Sage say that there was just that girl? Wait. Is Faye the girl? Hey. Sage, you would not believe what my brother just said. There was a woman? Uh, we should see if we can talk to his friend. Faye, is it? And we were just wondering, we have some questions we'd like to ask you. Is that okay? Why? Colton had mentioned that you'd seen something, and we just wanted to ask you about it. And 
we understand if it's hard for you to talk about um but if we're pushing too far just let us know thanks uh we have some questions prepared is that okay you witnessed the car crash of David Brown, correct? Colton said you saw a woman. Did you recognize her? Ads for men's hair stuff, I think. Ads for men's hair stuff? Oh my god! Um. Did she get out of his crash car? After she got out, what happened? Okay, it's, it's fine. We can, um, so... Oh, uh, hold on. Hi! Oh, Sophia. I thought you said later. Uh, my parents need us to help them set up early for the parade downtown. We gotta go. Okay. Hey, you guys are leaving already? Oh, yeah. Um, my parents called and they need us to help them set up for a parade early. Hey, Mom, can I go with them? Actually, you know, that might not be a bad idea. Thank you. See you later. Bye. She hasn't texted me where she's setting up. I don't, I literally don't know what they are. <sighs> that's her, that's her! Guys, where? that's her, it's right there, right there! That's her? Yeah. What's she doing? I don't know, she does look weird. Are you positive that's her? Yes! Hey. Hey. You ready? Yeah, sit down. I have a lot to talk to you, actually. Um, okay, so I did some research. I know I was supposed to wait for you. But I didn't. Don't be mad. Um, basically, I was looking at the crime scenes. Mm. I was looking at David Brown first, and then I started to research the rest of the men that have gone missing the last couple months and died. Which, by the way, that's another thing. They're all men. They're literally all men. And I found out through Google Image Reverse search that the lady that's at literally each of the crime scenes is the ex-co-owner of Ball Be Gone. Really? Yeah. So that's exactly what we thought. And turns out that her husband and her started it, but then when they got divorced, he fired her, but she's still in a lot of the ads. So I'm guessing that's what Faye saw. Probably. It's really weird. That, it's weird, why, why would they keep the ads up if they fired her? I don't know. I looked into it a little bit too during my study hall. And um, yeah, so I looked at the website and I saw that every dead guy was on there and like reviews Wait, what? and before and after pictures and they were all posted like after the accidents had happened. After? Yeah. That's insane. I know. There's no way that that could have happened. Yeah, I know. It's definitely it's set a setup. It's a setup. Yeah. And then I looked into the actual like medication and I found that it's um, untested. Untested? And, yeah. How and did it get on the market? I don't know. It's non-FDA approved either. And I also looked at the ingredients and stuff and there's a dangerous chemical in it for cranium that it does promote hair growth, but it's highly toxic. What? What's the motive here? I, I don't, don't know. If okay, so the so the 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 stuff is poisoning people, correct? Yeah. So why is this lady? Do Do you think they're trying to cover it up? Maybe. What should we do? to go. Number one? Yes, I'd like to report a murder. 